Okay, here we go with the geometric sequence. And I know I want to find how many terms this is. If I look at all these values, um, I can look at the general term, which I know is u sub n is equal to u1 r to the n minus 1. Now, u1 I know is equal to 1 eighth. And I'm looking for n down here. So I know the nth term, u sub n, is equal to 6, 5, 6, 1 over 20, 48. Now, for this formula, I need to either find r or n. My ratio is going to be simply, I'm going to take u2. No, I know that u2 over u1 is equal to r. So if I do that calculation, I get negative 9 over 32 over 1 eighth. Do a little fraction work here. 9 over 32 times 8 over 1 ends up getting me a value of negative 9 over 4. And this is my r value. So I know r is negative 9 fourths. I have all these values. I need to find n. That will tell me the number of terms. So if I come along here, and I can come and say that I know then that 6, 5, 6, 1 over 2, 0, 4, 8 is equal to u1, which is 1 eighth, r, which is negative 9 over 4, n to the 1. I need to solve for this exponent. I got several techniques available to me, but they're all going to deal with getting rid of this 1 8 first. So in order to do that, I'm going to multiply this side by 8 and this side by 8, which will cancel that out. And this will become 256. So I have 6, 5, 6, 1 over 2, 5, 6 is equal to negative 9 fourths all to the power n minus 1. Now at this point I have several options available to me. I can take the logarithm of both sides and solve as that, or I can recognize that this might actually work out quite nicely. Because I can say that this side here is negative 9 to the n minus 1, and make sure I put that in parentheses because that negative is part of the 9, over 4 to the n minus 1 which is still 65, 61 over 256. If this fraction, two fractions, is going to be equal, I know then that 256 equals 4 to the n minus 1. Well, 256 is simply 4 to the power 4 equals is 256, which is 4n to the minus 1. And so the exponents must be the same. 4 equals n to the minus 1. So n equals 5. Check it up here. I know that negative 9 to the 5 minus 1, which is parentheses, which is negative 9 to the 4th. You throw that in your calculator, you realize that it is indeed 6, 5, 6, 1. So we know that there are five, five, as I said, five terms.